my name's Yorick, and I just told the bear and a pot to the fuck off. We're gonna try and find this Nosferatu ourselves, but I don't have any idea what we're gonna be getting. I have a few ideas. The most obvious is to check the sewers. But if I want to find any information from anyone else about where they may be, I'm probably better off sticking up here for the time being. And there's a few buildings I haven't quite completely explored. There's the Vesuvius down the street. I should probably stop at the red stop just because I need stuff. Night eating you? And, uh, the Prince of Porn. I didn't really look in his stop in his store except to uh, stop and ask him if he ever seen Ginger Swan before. Nay, he said. However, Ginger Twister. And what a bendable lady she is. I ah, still haven't cleaned this one up, huh? Keeping up with the news out there. Getting crazier by the day. Yay for the constant mentions of nuclear Armageddon. Looking forward to it. Save up your bottle caps, people. Art imitates life. And sometimes life imitates art. And hot damn. If you have bottle caps, you might just be a millionaire. I like to do a little uh, homebrew, so I've got enough bottle caps to set me for life. Hey, Whiskers. Can't imagine anything as different at the ass pole. And the last time I stepped in here, I got uh, slapped with good old copyright. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? Alright, just keep that music not playing. Hey, need a date? <laughs> I really don't. All right, all right, nothing new here. Let's leave before copyright. Boom. I think that was less than 10 seconds. That's the standard, isn't it? Anything under 10 seconds is a highly satisfying day, unsatisfying day, and you don't get slapped with copyright. No, nothing, dead end. And incredibly dark. There's the Vesuvius. And this is the end of the street. Hollywood is a really small town when you compare the size of downtown and uh, Santa Monica so far. Ladies. Or er, lady, they're all the same one. Do you say anything? No. Can I jump in that side of the bar? Like it's you see? not even on. Dance it, ladies, dance it. Wait, is that chunk? That is not chunk. Madonna. Hey there, handsome. My name is Misty. Can I interest you in a private dance? I've got something special in mind, just for you. <laughs> Let me swim in your lava lagoon. Hot joy. But no, no doubt your dances would bring the sweet little death. Perhaps later. Hey there. Hmm, <laughs> cute. For anyone not knowing, the little death is what the French call an orgasm. I'm not ah, really sure why. Look what just swapped in. I can't imagine you'd get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. <laughs> Seduction. You should know better. So draped in rotten tatters and get to know each other and better upstairs. Or we can 
be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it. Believe me. I will haunt you for now. Still wearing the biohazard suit, and honestly, in this place, it may be a good idea. Who knows when the last time anything has been wiped out. Isn't this better? You and me alone for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. A motive. How unexpected. Oh, I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. It's sad, really. The way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Holy hell, there's hunters all over Hollywood. Are you sure they're just not shooting a uh, Highlander film? Me. Draw attention under the looming shadow of Wormwood. Never. Mmm, this is gonna be interesting. I'm Velvet. Valor. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? <laughs> What's to know? Everything about you is external. Ouch. Let me see. I get the feeling she's probably a Toriador and she wants to show off a little bit. Hmm. Sure, we have time to kill. Until it kills back. I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. Uh-huh. Tell me of the hunters. Hunters? Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. I can't really say the second one because I've never been in combat with a hunter. I avoided that when I made that one guy change his clothes with Ash. That was incredibly easy. I probably shouldn't have done that, though. I probably would have got more experience the other way. But that's one tiny little hunter. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found You're a weapon in the locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. That's something. Tell me out. Tell me something else. Mm hmm. What's up your What is your fable, doll? Mm hmm. That's a short story. Ooh, bringing out the real name. How come you hide your true name behind a fabric, Susan? There's only one part of my body I don't want anyone entering, and that's my head. That other name, never say it again. It belongs to a dead girl. Why are you hiding your past from me, doll? I'm not hiding my past. I'm not that girl. She was flawed. She was naive. She was nobody. And now she's dead. Let the dead rest in peace. My name is Vivi. Show yourself out. I'd like to say a prayer for someone I used to know. Pray then. 
Did I just ruin an entire quest line? Look who's back. And she doesn't look very interesting. Or friendly. Maybe it does. Dolly. My friends call me Vivi. Velvet will do. Ooh. About the hunting one. Mm -hmm. I thirst for the blood of those who would take mine. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. What kind of fabulous prizes do I win? I've got a girl, Misty. She's divine, and a willing blood doll for the right amount of money. I'll set her up for you. My treat. <laughs> Yummy. Tell me how to claim this prize. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. If you know anything yeah. about my style of combat, yeah. Susan, you have no idea how little danger I'm in. Details. She works over at the Senbin now. Her hair's blonde on top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Hmm. I wonder why. I mean, she's human, right? I'm just going to make her see horrible visions of, of painful death and she'll have a heart attack. Feed me answers first. Mm -hmm. I try not to piss her off again, though. Hollywood, what does this woman want me to do? Mingle, sightsee, chat, and me, of course. And she really doesn't drop the whole seduction thing, does she? Tell me something else. Mm -hmm. Tell me of Isaac's child, even yeah. though he's already skipped town. Isaac does so love him. We're like step-siblings, Ash and I. But I think Ash is reckless. He's never been comfortable with what he's become. And he's getting careless. Yes, well, he's already gone, so... Mm -hmm. What? Oh, I said something. No, I'm gone. Well, cool. We have a quest, and conveniently enough, it takes us to the other building that we've been meaning to explore. And by we, I mean me, and by me, I mean Yorick. Oh, come on. This is a fairly decently uptown, well, it's not really uptown, uptown, but... I was expecting some drugs in that, either of those restrooms. Morphine, cocaine, and Jesus, where's all the weed? This is fucking California! I don't, I mean, it's not quite the Emerald Triangle, but come on, people. It's legal here. Or at least I think it was back then. Maybe not. What can I do for you, Slick? Sup, Prince? I seek the girl who wears a heart on her back. Uh, yeah. Chastity. She works downstairs in the booze. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, pull your cork, <laughs> I got better girls than her. She ain't exactly adventuresome. You know what I'm talking about. Tonight, chastity is my vice. All right, it's your dollar. But if you want a private show, you're gonna have to wait until the booth customers clear out. The girls don't come out for one-on-one -on -one action until then. Let's see what you got on your mind, Flynn. Yeah? What do you want to know? Tell me a tale of the Celluloid City. Hollywood? What do you want to know about it? Tell me of the hot spots. Which ones? The Eastern Theater, a stony shadow within. The old Asian theater? It's been closed for a while. Place gives me the freaking creeps. 
Seems like everyone's got a Hollywood ghost story, but you walk by that place and look at it, you'll swear something's looking back. Maybe we'll get a chance to find out. I'm no longer here. I think we got the rest of it well in hand. This is a peep show. Ah, oh, picking. My arch nemesis. Difficulty 5. Fun fact, I think you can pick this for some extra cash, but it's even higher than the door, if I remember. Yep. <laughs> Let me see. Ugh, sorry. Vision of death, then? I really can't. I thought I'd be able to do that to the door. Chunk. Oh, dang. I can't pick any of these damn doors. Hmm. Dang. Uh... Hey, do you have a spare key, bro? Employees only. Is there a spare key in here, maybe? Dang, man. I may have to just drop this and come back later. And I'm five bucks poorer for my troubles. <laughs> God, that's so cool. Do it once over. Hopefully with some high inspection I'll be able to see something. place at the right time. Dang. That's her too, the blonde. If only I could target why can't I target her through the damn glass? That doesn't make any damn sense to me. Is a good idea. Oh, did. Ah, oh, come on, man. You're the same exact guy that was there a moment ago. That's not fair. What are we down to? Five? I didn't do it on purpose. You got a spare key for the sin bin? Hey, baby. Looking for a date? I'll assume no. What's wrong? Well, what have we got to do? <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least I didn't kill anyone in the store. Can't go in there. 
Where's the sewer system at? You guys didn't see this. Hey, Whiskers. Appreciate it, Whiskers. Oh, it's great that we have labels on all these access points, but a map would be pretty sweet. Yeah, like that. Hey, Whiskers. Infinite aspects. Why not? Where am I? Oh, sweet. I gotta go all the way back the other way. Ten is the apartments. Oh, this whole thing has been a large bust. Plus, we accidentally committed murder. I didn't really mean to do that. That was technically my fault, but not on purpose. I'm going that way. I think the Nosferatu can use those maps to... And that's how they get around. Like, without the taxi cab. Anywho. Let's do what I should have done to start with. Can't see, can't see. Where have my eyes gone? Oh, don't look so smug. I thought you'd come crawling back in here. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Torridor hands are so pristine. Let me adore yours. I get them plenty dirty. When a neonate doesn't know their place. Not <laughs> one brick of this city's Camarilla ground, so mind your manners. That's all I ask of visitors to my streets. I will find your tape. I will resist the urge to unravel it. I am gone. That's it? Smut peddlers in Hollywood. Oh, that could be anyone. Anywhere. At any time. My biggest lead was kidnapped by the Ninja Turtles a little while back. It's not like I can ask him where he got the tape anymore. I mean, I'm already pretty murderous. What's stopping me? One less ginger swan in the world. But apparently we have to go find a smut peddler or smut. Wait, what am I talking about? Flynn's down the street. I'm an idiot. Anyways, next time we'll be going to talk to Flynn because he's the most obvious suspect. The next link in the chain. Farewell, vampire.